My name is Paul Nelson, and I have the pleasure of selling the iris valve in North America. In fact, six years ago when I started introducing this valve, no one knew about it. Who knew that for the past 40 years, we have been the industry standard throughout Europe in wastewater treatment, and we are the process controls for the aeration basin. As your blower is feeding the air to the diffusers, our valve is used to control it accurately, repeatably, precisely. I'm going to introduce this product to you, but first I'd like to talk about our competition. Our competition is that butterfly valve. And butterfly valves are historically great isolation valves and not a process control valve. Think about it. You have a round pipe with a disc in the center of it. And when that disc is 100% open, it's a flow straightener. But as that disc begins to close, you get a pressure imbalance on each side of the disc that creates instability, turbulence, and a larger pressure drop. And I've seen pressure drops of one to two PSI. Now, I'm selling the iris valve, with, which is like the aperture on a camera, and it's a centrally closing orifice. And this orifice actually works very precisely with linear regulation. Four words. First one, stable. Second, linear. Third, accuracy. Fourth, repeatability. Let's start off with linear. Linear flow control. A perfect valve on a curve would go up to the right at 45 degrees. And it would say, I open the valve 10%, I get 10% flow rate. I open it 45%, I get 45% flow rate. If I open it 87%, I get 87% flow rate. Our valve is not perfect, but it's nearly perfect. And as a result, it is predictable. And that is good for the algorithms, for the SCADA system controlling the blowers. And that's what we do is control the blowers and feed the air to the basins. Now, why is that important? Well, the next word was accuracy. Recently, Brown and Colwell did a valve survey at McAlpine Creek in Charlotte, North Carolina. And that valve survey showed that our valve is about 2%, even better than 2% accurate. Now, that's a good number. I would have said two, three, four percent. Even five percent is fine. Two percent. Now, that next word was repeatability. I will argue every day of the week that accuracy doesn't mean anything. But repeatability is what you really need. Why is that? Say you're operating at 40 percent open and 400 SCFM. Suddenly, your DO um, drops and so you want to increase the airflow. So you go from 40% to 80% open. Say you go to 800 SCFM. Your system, your process is stabilized. Now it can go back to 40. So it goes back to 40% and 400 SCFM. Do you see where repeatability of being able to go back to that 40% open and have 400 SCFM? That's what's good for the algorithms. So we spoke about linear flow control, accuracy, repeatability. Now that first word, stability. Stable airflow as defined in the valve industry means that if you open 10%, you can't increase flow more than 20%. Or if you open 10, say you close 10%, you can't uh, provide less than 5% change. So it sets up a tolerance of 5% to 20% operation, all with a 10% change in valve position. We do that. Although we regulate from zero to 100, with stable control, we regulate from 15 to about 90, sometimes 17% open to 94% open, with good stable regulation. Next, I'm gonna direct, and we're gonna go over to this display and we're going to watch the air as it lifts the ball up. Follow me around to here. 
Earlier, we spoke about that butterfly valve and how it sits in a round pipe with a blade or a disc in the center of the flow rate. Now, when it's 100% open, you're good. But as you start to close that valve and it turns, it creates a pressure imbalance inside that pipe, which results in instability and turbulence. Now, here's an example of my iris valve running at 10% open. And below it, I've got air movement. And you can see that ball is suspended, and it's very stable. In fact, it's not even spinning. Even if I open it to 20% or 30%, look at the stability. Now, if that was a butterfly valve, that ball would be spinning, and it'd be shaking. Even when I go up to 50, 60, that's 50%. Now I can go all the way to 100, and that ball is going to stay stable, linear, and smooth. That's what our valve will do for your process. Thank you for participating in the Egger Virtual Trade Show. Remember, the iris valve is the only valve of its kind that's a centrally closing orifice. It has no obstructions, it has a very low pressure drop, and it provides stable, linear, repeatable, and reliable airflow control. Thank you.